Hey guys, Darcy here, and today we're going to talk about how you can categorize and take plugin icons in Luna. Let's jump into it. Today's going to be a simple video. We're just going to go over how you can categorize and take icons of plugins that are third party, not made by Universal Audio, when you're using Luna. So let's just quickly jump right into that. We have Luna pulled up here. We're just gonna click on an insert. That's gonna bring up our drawer and we're gonna just choose a random plugin for this example. So when we click on Acon Digital here, we're gonna click on this first plugin. I'm just choosing this one simply because I've not used this. It's not categorized. So here on the left hand side, we'll see that we don't have an icon for this. So if you click this plus button, this is where we're gonna get the couple utilities that we can use. First one being, we can create a plugin icon. That basically just takes a screenshot of it and it's gonna take a picture of whatever it is at that current state. If there's actually sound going through that and this meter here on the left hand side has a signal passing through, it'll take a screenshot of that with the visual effects. So if there's something, you know, you want a cool screenshot, make sure to plan it, time it, that kind of a thing. Now, from here, we can go back to the assign button, click categorize, and this is where we're gonna get a drawer of all of our different category filters, and this will allow us to assign it to one. So this is a reverb and room, we can add it there. If we felt that this was a special processing, we can also add it there. You can add to as many as you need, but in this case, we'll just add it to the reverb, and then we're gonna click done. Now, if we want to go and find this again later, so let's remove it. We go add an insert and we wanted to go to our reverb and room. We could see that we have one of the plugins from Acon Digital. We click on that and there we go. Now, you know, just kind of a quick overview of your categories. If you're not familiar, when you click on the left hand side, you will see all those categories as a drop down. You can hide them if you don't want to use them, but otherwise, you can just simply click through. It's a, a, like a radio button type of clicking, so you can only click one at a time. Um, and as you click through that, it'll show you your different plugins. You know, you'll see what you can want to work with and kind of narrow it down from there. Pretty straightforward stuff, but very powerful and nice feature to have if you're unfamiliar with them. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know that in the comments. If there's something else you would like me to go over, let me know that as well. And otherwise, have yourself a good day.